6.0 or 7.3 which is the better motor here I need your guys' help As we saw in the last video, this is the 2002 Ford Excursion 28-foot limo that I towed home from like four hours away. Had a plan to do some diesel swap work to it, and that's where this video is going to kind of get the plans rolling, get the ball rolling, and I could really use some advice on what is the better way to go. I'm stumped right now. So I did not waste any time and I cleaned up the side here a little bit and man it looks a lot better than it did in the last video. Nothing crazy. I wasn't going to go through and do anything major. I just touched it up real quick. No big deal. All right the truck's not perfect so but when you step back and look at it from far away does it look a lot better? Yes. Anyways putting that to the side just as a general walk around real quick. I wasted no time also putting our letters on the truck, as you can see on this side, just as a starter, just to start lettering it up. The whole point of this excursion is to be a show vehicle, to be an advertising billboard, basically. To get our name brand out there with this truck. That's why I am junking the gas motor that came in with, with this. It's a V10. It's got like 200,000 miles. I'm not junking it, but I'm pulling it out and it's going for sale. Um, as well as like the drivetrain and the stuff there. I'm going to convert it to a diesel so we can take it to the shows and it's everybody thinks diesel's cooler than gas, all right? It definitely is. Um, is it practical for this? Daily driving this is for a limo? No, but for what I'm doing with it, it is. It is fun. It's all about fun and games. That's why I bought this. It's not a serious vehicle whatsoever. It's all fun and games, so let's start there. So as we saw last video, it runs, it works. It needs some things though. Let, let me take the key and open it, I suppose. All right, we saw this all in the last video, plain Jane, excursion, interior, limo stuff, kind of what you'd expect back here. Talk about that in a second. But let's talk about what the topic of the video is. I wanna pop the hood here and explain some stuff here. All right, so there it is, nothing special, V10. Kind of just stock, whatever. It's got the uh, original battery like set up here. This is a never start battery, but then it's got another battery that runs back to some other stuff running off of this thing. A whole mess of wiring over here that's gonna definitely get straightened out by me because I don't like stuff like this this is this is half-ass I don't like any of that stuff going up in here like that that's not the right way it's it should be done um, this is waiting to start a fire something like this with no fuses and running back on metal all it takes is for it to char and stuff like that that's no good um, so that's gonna have to get fixed but the rest of the wiring harness under here is also gonna have to get fixed so when you pop the hood on this, it looks very similar to a 7.3 or a 6.0, obviously. This, the setup of it, when you look closely, because the front of the cab and everything is the same. It's, the sa it's all the same stuff to make this work, basically. The radiator sits in the same spot. All right, the coolant bottle on a 7.3 sits in the same spot. On a 6 liter, it's over here. It's a little different, but it's a lot of the stuff is the same, basically. Um, so that's why making this into a diesel with those two motors, the 6.0 and the 7.3, is not going to be hard at all because everything is almost bolt-on. Well, I guess it probably almost always bolt-on to make this work. If you have enough parts, you can get it done. So I have done this before. This, this harness underneath here for the, for the engine where it's tying over here. Um, 
will have to get switched because that is a gas PCM and it's running all the wires up to here for the engine harness. It's just easier to switch everything at once to a diesel harness so that we get the, the right PCM, um, the IDM in there if we're going with the 7.3, stuff like that. Running down there, the fuel pump on a, on a 7.3 or a 6.0 is a diff little different because this has the fuel pump in the tank on this gas on these gas motors so there are some differences in terms of making it work but it's not that as hard as you'd think because it's all like i said it's all ford parts to that make this truck work i mean you can literally swap parts on this thing for days with other models such as wheels axles uh coil spring swaps stuff like that you can do all that kind of stuff so let's talk about a couple things I'm considering in the back of my head. Number one is availability to parts is straight out for me. Not hard at all. I have a bunch of parts at the tip of my hands at all times being in the business that I'm in. Uh, so getting a 6.0 or getting a 7.3 in here that's going to work for this swap is no problem. I could have one here today if I want. Uh, in fact, I always have trucks that would work. Uh, here's a lineup of trucks that are in currently. 6073 stuff like that. I have the trucks, I have the parts to make it work. So that's not an issue for me. That's not something I'm considering is getting the getting the parts that I need. Not not a concern. Um something I am considering is number one, which this being a show vehicle, which motor is cooler to put in? I think personally the 6.0 sounds better. I mean, hands down, I think it just is a better sounding engine. Runs a lot smoother than a 7.3, and if it's VGT setup turbo or not, I still think it sounds better than a 7.3. Uh, 7.3 can't make that type of whistle that a 6.0 can on the turbo, and also without the whistle, non-VGT 6.0 sounds better than a 7.3 in my opinion. So I lean more towards a 6.0 on that end um, in terms of just the sound and the cool coolness of the motor we'll call it that because um, that's what it's about it's about turning heads now on a 7.3 everyone loves a 7.3 obviously it's a great running engine it's it's a terrific platform uh to run for a very long time everybody knows the 7.3 is a good motor and uh in terms of that the people who like the 7.3 i know there's going to be a fan club of 7.3 people following this truck if it does get a 7.3. More people are a fan of the 7.3, I think, than they are of a 6.0. But when you're when the hood is shut and you don't know what motor's in the truck and you're going off of hearing, I think the 6.0 turns more heads. That's just my opinion. All right, let's talk about, also, this is gonna be partially a burnout vehicle for the, for the pits, um, for the shows. I wanna do some burnouts with this thing. The 6.0 makes a little more power than the 7.3 does stock. I don't know, 7.3 is slow, but in terms of tuning both of them, it's not hard to tune either of them. It's not hard to put parts on a 7.3 and make it go fast. Uh, I've done all that. I've been there, done that. Put the injectors, put the big turbo on it, put the big high-pressure oil pump on it. have done that, and the truck makes great power. It can. Um, same thing with a 6.0-liter. It can make great power as well, but you start to run into more expensive issues like the head gaskets. So... That might be something to consider, is that it takes a little bit less money to put a 7.3 in here and make it go fast, reliably, without blowing head gaskets and stuff like that, than it does with a 6 liter. So I am considering something like that as well, because that is going to cost a little bit more money to make the 6.0 make power the right way without hurting it. Um, but at the same time, hurting the truck and hurting the motor is part of the game that we're going to be playing. That is to be expected. All right, so this is not like building a truck to go to work every day. This is building a truck purely for the sake of enthusiasm and fun. And I don't want people to get the wrong idea. I'm not making, I'm not trying to make like a thousand horsepower. I'm trying to just make a little bit of power to have fun with. That's, you don't need much to have fun in it with, even with a 7.3. It, I've done it. it. It does not take much power to have fun. It, you don't have to be doing rolling burnouts the whole time to go have fun. And it gets more expensive the deeper you get into that game which everybody knows the parts are expensive to do stuff like that, but we're gonna do the best we can on a budget. So if you could let me know what your opinion is and why, very important, please let me know why I should be putting either motor in there. 
that would be greatly appreciated. I would love to, to read the comments and see what people are recommending for this and what they want to see done, because that's what it's all about too. Let's see what the people want. I don't really care. I'll go either way, like I just said. It doesn't matter for me. I have the availability to do both. I know how to do both. I know how to work on both. I know how to make them go fast. Um, so I, that's not a problem, but what's the cooler engine? What's the fu more fun build? With that being said, let's talk a little bit more about some other plans real quick just while I'm making this video. All right, this is two-wheel drive, so that's immediately going to get switched because four-wheel drive is just definitely cooler than two. And I have the parts to make that work. This is a coil spring, two-wheel drive axle, so I'm going to drop it and do a coil spring four-wheel drive axle, make this a four by four. So as I said before, getting the parts is not a problem. Here's a coil spring front axle that is perfect to go into that truck, so that's why I saved this one. So that's a good step right there. And then of course the rear axle, that's a, that being a newer axle, the rear axle will change that out as well so that they are matching in terms of the year, um, the past the 05 point, so that's the same, same sort of deal on the axle. Another option I was considering in terms of the wheels while we're at that topic is making this thing a dually. I love doing that to trucks, making them duallys. Nothing cooler than a dually, right? Make it a dually, put the big Alcoa wheels on here in the front, put them on the back, put the hips on the back somehow would be freaking sweet, right? That would be really cool. Get the, uh, the piece right here for the fender and make it work with that. That would be awesome. And go with the big boy wheels like over here. Right there. All right, it's not too hard to run these big wheels. This is the, the dump truck I built with the six. This has a 6.0 in it, which there's a video coming on this. I promise I'm working on it. Um, but we're taking stuff like this. This is going to shows this summer. This is an awesome truck to go show off with the name on the side. Stuff like that. Make it cool like this. Put the big wheels on here. Right? That would be awesome. So that's something else. And let me just hook this battery up. Let's go look at the back. Uh, look at some of this wiring though. It's a good. I, I'm going to go through this whole under underhood bay here to clean up all this crap. I mean that is a disgrace right there. That's terrible. Uh, these these terminals are garbage. They suck. Stuff like that. I mean, what the heck is going on here? What is that? Stuff like that is all. This is the. Uh, Weird setup for that evaporator setup that that's gonna go because it's not gonna need that. But while I'm going through all the wiring work to make it work, I was also considering switching out the interior on this and converting it to a new dashboard, new seats, new center console, new headliner, new door panels, like all that cool stuff to make it look a little newer. I think that would be awesome and run the new gauge cluster while I'm doing all the wiring. That might be a cool swap, which I already started pulling pieces off of that, such as this one in the back. Here's a headliner in good shape that I already pulled out of a 2008. To convert the front part only, not, nothing back here is gonna get converted. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna convert any of these panels because this is already enough of a custom job that uh, it looks okay. It needs a, still needs a deep clean in here, but pretty much for the most part, keep this part similar to as it is. Maybe change out the carpet to a newer, different looking carpet. Green is not in style these days, so we'll fix that up. Go through all the LEDs in here, make this thing a little bit cooler in terms of the LEDs working there. Some of them work, but not all of them do. So that needs some work. I mean, you guys kind of get the idea. I'm just trying to keep you a little updated in terms of what the plan is before I go ahead and do it because once I get going on it, it's gonna be, this is gonna be really quick. If I, whatever motor I'm putting in there, it's gonna take me no time at all to get it running and uh, working on diesel instead of gas. And then the, the fun stuff like the dash swap and the maybe the axles and the dually conversion will happen later after it's running a little bit. Uh, but I just want to keep you updated and ask your advice, like I said. And so once I make the final decision of what motor we're putting in this thing, the, the next step's going to literally be, go, let's go get the truck and, and the right one so we can make the conversion start happening real quick and get this thing on the road working. So let me know down below what you guys think. Open anything. I'm real excited for this. It's going to be 
Awesome. I can't wait. Maybe even do a front clip on it. Put a 6-7 front clip on this thing. That would be awesome.